See, the logo's in the game. Yeah, but it's not on the box. So something spooky about that? I was actually recording this when I found out Bowie died. This was what really pumped me up about the game, was that it started with a David Bowie song, which I think is great. And it's not the David Bowie version, because it's a cover, but it's still really cool that th he finally worked in a way to get Bowie to be like an actual presence in one of his games. Because Kojima's a big Bowie guy. He's, he's always thrown in little references here and there, like... Um, 3, I think, has the most. I feel like the big boss games usually have the most. Like, um, Major Zero's first codename was Major Tom. And the boss's design was actually very heavily inspired by David Bowie. So, this is different because all the other Metal Gear games I've done by myself. But I needed to bring Chris along for this one because it's long and it's not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. It's up there. Like, well, we'll get into it later. Yeah, when we get deeper into the game. This is like my favorite day. If I woke up to this, <laughs> best nine years in a coma. Best day she ever. She'd be able to tell I woke up because she'd see, uh, you know, all three inches of excitement. Yeah, she'd see my solid snake. Yeah. Her too. I want to know what's going on with with Snake here. Like, is he moving his head and they just don't notice, or is it just? His I think eyes? it's his eye. Oh yeah, I ah, yeah. Cause one of them is gone. And uh, here we see the least observant nurse in the world. I guess if you're, uh, you know, watching over a, a guy who's been in a coma for nine years, eventually you just stop expecting him to wake up. V has come to. V has come to. You know, that sounds like Donna Burke to me. 
Well, okay, I was just about to talk about that. They never explain who the first person in that to say V has come to. The V has come to. They never explain who that was, but the last, the V has come to, is the iDroid. Who is me? So, uh, the subtitles will be on because, you know, Chris and I are going to talk over most of this. We're, we're not going to talk through most of the cutscenes throughout the game, but we are going to talk through these first three videos because it's a chore getting through this first level because it's really long and boring. Yeah, I mean, it does a great job of world building and, like, you know, I've seen a lot of people talk about how this first level shifts in tone so differently, but I think that's kind of, like, the, the beauty behind it is, like, you know, it, it, it shows exactly what Kojima's about, is the, the you know, shifts in tone Move from... Up. Yeah, like, one minute it's serious, you got a guy on fire going through a hallway, and then the next minute, someone's peeing themselves. Very good. This guy, some con controversy, con controversy about this guy. Yeah, can you hear me? Because this guy is apparently based what on a real-life doctor. Name? I think that's literally just the what biggest coincidence yeah, in the world. Yeah, I do too. I think it's a huge coincidence. You know, I don't think Kojima went and said, I'm going to base it off of this guy. And, and not risk, ask him. Yeah, not ask him and risk, you know. So here you can kind of uh, build yourself here. Um... So, you know, you, you can choose a name for him. You can do whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter. It really has no consequence about anything. So we're going to just name our, our um, avatar character, Mark Eddick. Uh, but I'm actually going to put my real real life birthday in here. Which, uh, June 14th. Yeah, tell me. Close your eyes and tell me what my June, birthday is. June 14th. June 16th. It's no. June 22nd, oh, fuck you, you dumb butthead. You know what? It's no, one of the days Carlin was either born or died. He died on June 22nd. Done. I murdered him. I'm good. There is plenty I'm of not time. good. I like Carlin better than you. <laughs> good. I need to tell you something. Please listen. See, uh, one of the other you know the first thing I probably wouldn't notice is that my arm is missing when I wake up. You'd be surprised. Well, that's the title of the game. Sometime. Phantom Pain. Yes, yes, you wouldn't know, know it's gone because you still you feel like it. To know how long. That's what Phantom Pain is. I'm afraid it's I don't know. Because the first thing I'd do is, I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, the first thing I'd do is really check myself out, see if everything's A, there, B, in working order. Yeah, but then I mean my dick. What? I think most of all, I'd probably be able to tell that I've got a giant horn sticking out of my face. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. How do you feel? Yeah, one of the reasons we're going to talk over the, these first three videos, which is the uh, hospital escape sequence, is because you've seen everything in the trailer. There's no reason mm -hmm. to let the game speak for itself. At least specifically in this first part. Anything important, the trailer lays out. So if you really want to know... I mean, hell, you can just get the gist of Metal Gear from the fucking trailers. You've lost some strength, yeah. Because, uh, literally, there's nothing, no surprises in this game. There's a pretty big surprise. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. No, we're not going to talk about it yet. I need to just in case someone's not played this. But you must be alive. I do, like I said, I, I like this part. I like playing this part for the first time. But, yeah, when you have to, if you have to replay it again, which would be dumb if they made you do that. Yeah, that'd be dumb if they made you replay this level. And the whole level. Yeah, the entire thing, not just like a condensed version. But that's silly, why would they do that? It'd be dumb. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most oh wow, I just realized that. He said human bone and human teeth in you. Some of the We're made of Chico. Now pause. 
were made no because Paz got out of the helicopter. Yeah. Remember? And kaboom. What? Well, yeah, she. Well, yeah, I guess no. It'd probably be her teeth. Well, it might be. How do explosions work? Would the would she just get vicinerated? Ev- she would that be wasn't part of the word. shrapnel. That, that wasn't a word. word. She would be part of the shrapnel. Your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal, you see, but. Even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. This explains why Big Boss is so dumb in this game. Yeah, he has a giant metal shard in his head. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation. Okay, so yeah, this is a week after he woke up. You're right. How does he not notice by now? But mm-hmm. please. Look like, now. you didn't go, like, I'm gonna scratch my balls. Wait, how come I can't scratch my balls? I mean, unless they kept him sedated this whole time, which I wouldn't put past them, but. They could have. You know, it's not like you can. You know, I mean, granted, if I saw this, I'd be freaking out. I'd be murdering left and right. If? Well, just right, because I don't have a left. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Calm down. Yes. 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 True. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first. I'm going to choose oh, that handsome handsome devil. devil. We have no other choice. Why do I have Anakin Skywalker scar? However, that was the first thing I noticed whenever they uh, first unveiled his appearance. Was that oh he's got a cool Anakin Skywalker scar? Because I don't know if Anakin Skywalker was the first to do that. Well, I guess Blofeld was. Okay, so here we're doing character customization. There's one guy here who looks like Zangief. That guy looks like Zangief. But um, this is pretty much just for Metal Gear Online. Mm-hmm. No other reason. Yeah. So I'm going to try and make as close to myself as possible. I can't make the guy look chubby, so that's not going to... It's not going to be perfect. You should give yourself mutton chops. I should have given myself mutton chops. I gave myself mutton chops. Ew. (laughs) Yeah, the character customization, I think, is pretty limited. Uh, I like it. I mean, it's not as deep as, like, an RPG, but it doesn't need to be. Nah, not at all. And as someone who is used to um, Metal Gear Online from Metal Gear Solid 4... It's pretty much exactly the same. Yeah. It actually, I think, has more options than online from 4. So yeah, this is this is what I would look like if I worked out. And didn't have long hair. Yeah. Like, my hair is down to, like, my past my neck right now. So this is what I'd look like if I cared. Mm-hmm. That's what I would look like if I did the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Relevant jokes. Yeah, I didn't realize it was 2014. This changes nothing because... Well, it changes the shape of your face, but it doesn't really do much because of the beard. Yeah. Did you actually make your guy try and like look like you? I tried the first one, and then uh, the other two, I went and made one look like the end, and then the other one try and make him Chico. And here's what I would look like if I was a black man. With blonde hair. With blonde hair. And white man hair. (laughs) 
What do you mean you tried to make your guy look like Chico? I don't understand. <laughs> Because uh, I, I really wanted Quiet to just walk up to uh, Snake and say, I'm Chico. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm Chico too. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Five, the Phantom Chicos, they're everywhere. Yeah. I still think it would be cool if... Uh... Very good. Now, Rest, rest in peace, train of thought. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. I should have oh, I should have made him look like Shepard. Damn it! <laughs> As of Why didn't I do that? I could have named right, him Commander. Video. Yeah, do it over. Do it over. Forget that. This oh, this makes no sense to me. I'll never understand this. What? Snake just stops caring about that. Cause he's like, oh that's happening. What are you doing, Doctor? The guy on the left is the true v uh, MVP from uh, Ground Zero's Morpho. This is right now. I'd be like, "Yo, no, I don't." See, he's like, oh, "I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror." Do more. Get used to Kiefer Sutherland impressions, bad ones. Because we're gonna do more talking than he ever did in this game. Why does that doctor have a gun? I don't understand why a Snake just kind of laid there and uh, let that happen. Because he can't do anything else. He can talk. Can he? Can the Snake talk? Well, I mean... Snake doesn't want to talk. He's the least talkative he's ever been. Not yet. The patient in the next bed is on my face. Of course. Consider it done. First time I played this, I thought this was like Quiet's sister or something like that. Really? I didn't think it was actually her. Wanna know why? Two things. A, she's talking. B, she's got her clothes on. Yeah, this scene is funny, you just couldn't just start chucking things at yeah. I like this. I love this. Where she's just choking you out now. Stephanie Jusen, why are you so pretty? I don't know how this it goes from her choking you out to being lit on fire. Well, in the thing, you hear a light get struck. Yeah, but then she's all the way back there. Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. How did how did we not catch fire too? Snakes are not climbable. This is the most you will ever hear of Stephanie Houston's performance as quiet. Who in this portion of the game is known as loud? <sighs> Paddles of white, cover fields, flowing and okay. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I. We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? Talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ishmael. What the hell 
hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you dead. On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick-me-up? Okay. Here. No. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! I love how he just leaves him there like, come on, go! Move!